welcome to Filipina's Kitchen again. Thank you for joining me today. I am going to make a gyoza, um, my own version. I have a story behind this gyoza. I used to take care of a lady who used to do a caregiving job. And so I have a Japanese lady. She is very sweet. She is Japanese and her favorite is gyoza. So I learned how to uh, make uh, something for her and she loves it. So now I am going to share it with you, my recipe. Uh, it's very simple. This is, uh, I am using a ground beef usually they use the uh, ground pork but i'm using ground beef right now so before we uh put our ingredients on it uh i have let me wash my hands with a touch one okay um earlier like 15 20 minutes i start my cabbage i have a uh, ingredients here uh cabbage what i did is i just mince off cabbage the reason why i did this earlier so that the uh, cabbage will well wilt it for a uh, future uh, use for later okay so i mince it like this small like that Okay, and I put like a maybe a pinch of salt in it so that it will well wilt in it. You know the salt will make that. Okay, so um, as to the ingredients, yes, I have um, a green onion. It's um, you can use chive also, but I am using um, a green onion. You just have to like um, slice very thin. This is just a simple gyoza that I'm making. Some of you guys probably wanna put a shiitake mushroom or any kind of mushroom you want it. garlic so what i did i just took my grated and then just do this okay and i'm using that's probably one tablespoon right there okay and i have a one teaspoon of salt oops that's gonna come out there okay and one teaspoon of pepper black pepper okay and i have a sesame oil that's like one teaspoon and this is a uh, rice vinegar for our sauce later okay uh, i'm using also a um onion Everything I do like this. Or you can mince it if you want. I'm probably using two tablespoons of grated onions. This is easier, guys. You just grate your stuff and you can mince it also here. It's probably like two tablespoons right there, so that's good. Okay. And for garlic. I love to put a lot of garlic in mine. This is so easy. You just have to put all the ingredients together. Either if you want to uh, steam it or if you want to fry it. You can do whatever you want. How to cook them. Okay. That's a lot of garlic. Okay. Now. To take my spoon here and mix them together. You know, it's easier to uh, mix it with your hands. So I'm going to wash my hands again and we'll work on that. Okay. All right. We'll put our green onion in there and our cabbage. Just make sure that you have to like take the water, it says water out. Okay. Not much water in there, so that's good. All right, now we just have to mix it. Use your hands, guys, so it will mix thoroughly. <clears throat> okay, uh, to mix it. Mix, mix. All right, I'm going to uh, wash my hands again, guys, and then we'll come back um, to rub it. See you in a minute. All right, you guys, this is how it looks, okay? Now, I have the gyoza wrapper here. You know, you can just buy this uh, in your store, like, not only in the oriental store, but all over the place you can get this gyoza wrapper, it's called. So, all right, we'll start. I have a water here for uh, just to sail it around. So, here we go. I have to put another in there because too much is you can cover it. Okay, just like this. Okay, or if you want to put some design, just do that. I'm not really a professional, but <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Okay, we'll keep on going. Water. 
around it. There you go. Just press. And another one. And another one. And there you go. There you go, guys. All right, so we'll keep on going until we finish it all. Okay, guys, I'm done um, wrapping my uh, gyoza. And so this is it. And uh, I want to steam half of it and I want to uh, fry half of it. Either way you can do, you can fry them or you can steam them. So uh, I have a pot going there. My water is boiling my steamer. So I'm going to um, put that first. Call me. Okay. So just put it there. And this is a uh, freezer friendly also. You can freeze them and use them for the future. You guys, you can see I have a flower here. I will show you how to make that. Not pretty. There you go. Okay, well, let's go back to my frying pan here. Okay, need a cooking oil. About two teaspoons full of cooking oil. Just make sure your frying pan is nice and hot. Okay, there you go. Then we'll put our gyoza. Make sure your um, stove is not that high so you won't get burned easy. If the color get brown, you can put it. Okay. While we're waiting for that, I have that my flour. I'll show you. I showed you. I will show you how to make that. It's just so easy. Okay. You need three of the rubber. You know the, the last rubber. It has to be smaller than the two. Okay. And then at the same time, put your lid in there. Oh, there you go. Don't put too much. In there because it's it's gonna be bulky and it won't roll. Yeah. Then this is what you do. Okay. And I want you to like get your spoon, just crush that. Because if you put too much meat in there, that's gonna be too much of meat and it won't roll like a flour. Okay. Right. Then you got to roll this way. Okay. And that way. There. Keep on going. And there you go. You just have to put like water there. The water makes you like go chase them. There you go. Look, look pretty. Like a butter rose. Alright, I'm going to put this in there in the steamer. And I'll see you in a little bit. Okay guys, you can see though, it just is turning brown. You just have to put the liver. It's beautiful. There you go. Okay. That looks yummy. All right. That's another three to four minutes. We'll get our uh, steamer. That looks it's probably 10 15 minutes. Don't get done. Oh, look at my flowers right there. Not beautiful. Okay, another five, 10 minutes there. I'll get back to you. Okay, look at you guys. This is cooked. So I'm going to take them out. Turn that. Oh. Mm, that's good. All right. While we're waiting for the other one that we steamed up, I'm going to make the sauce. What I have here is <clears throat> two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of rice vinegar. We'll just use a pinch of salt right there. And I'm going to add a ginger. Okay. And a little garlic. Or you can even uh, use uh, whatever sauce that you might want. Mm. Smells so good. There you go. All right. I'm going to take that gyoza and the steamer out now. Okay, back to you. Okay, this is done, you guys. So I'm just gonna take them out. This is like in 10, 15 minutes. Oh, look at that. Okay. 
if you have a fancy party or something, you guys try to make the flower one. You know, you impress your your uh, friends. And that's so pretty. I look like a rose. There. Yep. There you go. I'm going to put this in there. Okay. We're just gonna put it that's pretty. Good. I'm gonna put some in here. You guys think it is so good. You can smell this. It smells so good. Okay. I'm gonna put the other one on the side. And you can make this for pop up or any kind of party. I think I'm gonna get a couple more of this thing one. Okay, who is hungry? There you go, guys. It looks so good. Okay, well, thank you again for um, staying with me. Thank you for uh, visiting my channel. For Pina's uh, Kitchen. And don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and uh, share. And uh, I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to hit the bell. Till next time.